April 1st, guys. New month. Um, not a lot's changed since the last video. Uh, I mean, it was only a few days ago. But I got parts put away. Uh, I still got helpers coming sometime this week to finish this Harry Potter set. Um, yeah, really not a whole lot. Uh, today's going to be a short day just because I got um, some homework to, to finish. Uh, for my master's degree so uh, i'm in here just to pack orders i got nine orders uh i got some labels here and i got some laid out on the counter there uh, but i've got nine orders to pack seven of them from yesterday and then i got two early this morning so i'm gonna pack those up real quick and then i'm gonna be done in here probably for the whole weekend uh, other than maybe packing some orders tomorrow and or Sunday. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a relatively short day. So, All right, so I'm almost done with picking my orders. I already got uh, four of them over there. Those were the smaller orders. I just got them out of the way. And then uh, I've got these five orders here. So this, all of this is one order. And then these two right here are one order. This bin right here is one order. Those two bins right there are the fourth order. And then these three small bins right here are the fifth order. So, and these are all the new parts. And then uh, I haven't picked the used parts yet. But I'm going to package these up and kind of get them out of my tray so that I can get the used parts taken care of. Good morning. Uh, getting an early start today. Well, relatively early, I guess. Um, got some orders to pack. And uh, yeah, I spent all day yesterday working on my homework for my master's degree and I need a break so I'm gonna come out here kind of, like I said I got these orders to pack and then I think I'm gonna put away a set or two I've got some stuff here I might work on this stuff I don't know I haven't decided yet but definitely get these orders out of the way and then uh, go from there so I got orders packed and I decided to part this one out 76173 I had seven copies of it, and so 1,417 pieces. This is minus the minifigures, because I'm putting those with my new ones to put on eBay. So um, I transferred my uh, inventory over, store inventory over, and it looks like I've got 10 errors, which I think I showed this before, but um, those errors are these price spots that have the red uh, rectangle around them, which just means they're missing a price. And so that means that they are not currently in my store. So I went through and I assigned them new drawer numbers. And so there were only 10 lots out of this whole set that I didn't have previously in my store. So I'm gonna go through and control all and put prices in here real quick. And now we're up to $176. I had seven sets, so what is that? Uh, about $25 a piece. And I think I got these at 12 bucks a piece or something. I don't remember. Um, so, and that's without the minifigures. So I'm gonna go ahead and mass upload these. And new remarks, because I put new drawer numbers in, control V, verifying file, and we'll go all the way to the bottom. And it should be pretty same, or same, same as what was on the other one. So. 1,417 pieces, 71 lots, $176. We're uploading the file, and then we're gonna go check out the store. Because I don't think we've done that for a while. 
So some exciting news in the last month. I got over 300 feedback. I also went over 600 orders in uh, BrickLink. And I'm getting pretty close to 200 orders in BrickL. So I'm getting close to that 800 total order mark. 291,396, 800, or 8,322 lots. Haven't hit that 300,000 mark yet. Uh, I'm hoping to this month. Uh, I've got a couple of big sets that are on the part out table, so hopefully my helpers can help me get to that point. But, but yeah, I'm pretty, pretty happy with the success I've had so far, and it's just enough to keep me busy and to keep it going while I'm still working full time. So, uh, but yeah, now on to the next next task, which I have not yet decided what I'm going to do. 719. So it's been about four hours. Uh, I got that Disney set put away. My helpers showed up, which they have got the rest of that set parted out that I needed them to part out. So I'm going to put that away. Uh, that'll add about 3,000 parts to the store, and then the Disney set added about 9,000 parts, or sorry, 900 parts, and I set the minifigures aside so that I could sell them on eBay. They're over here. So, so they're all in there. Those are the brick built. Uh, there's a stove, I think, and the wardrobe, and then the mirror, and Cogsworth, and then a couple of bells, and the beast. So, hide those away until I get, get ready to upload stuff to eBay, and then, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm going to put these away. And then today, my wife went to a local thrift store, and she found some Bionicle, and these aren't the greatest of prices, of $6.99 for a bag like that, so I think there's like six or seven bags in there. But she also found a bag that had some minifigures in it, which I'm super excited about, because these are the minifigures that she found. Uh, obviously this comes from uh, Lord of the Rings set. I forget what the name of it is off the top of my head, but all those except for uh, Gollum and the Warg here come from the that ship, Lord of the Rings ghost ship set, whatever it's called. Um, uh, but yeah, uh, these all came in one bag with a bunch of other pieces. Part of the sale from the ship, or this one sale from the ship was in there. Um, but yeah, uh, it was in a bag for $7.99. So pretty excited about that. I think just these minifigures alone are going to pay for all the bags that she bought. So, so yeah, that's pretty pretty exciting. Um, but yeah, just kind of putting parts away. That's what I'm going to do for the rest of the night. I'm going to get these parts put away, and then I think I'm going to call it a night. April 14th. 9.26 in the morning. So, uh, two days ago, I had some pretty good orders. Uh, kind of left my... I was in a hurry to get them out into the post office. Um, but I kind of left a mess of my, my shop. So, I'm going to go ahead and clean that up this morning. And then my... I've got a cup. I've got all day... Um, so I'm going to try to knock out a couple of big projects. Um, first is going to be to part out this set, which is the Ironmonger. There's one sitting on the table over there. Uh, so yeah, going to clean up, do Ironmonger. Uh, I got some labels in. Uh, these are labels for the used drawers, which are over here. And I think I've I'm pretty sure I ordered enough labels for all of these Acromill sections. So uh, I'm going to do that. That way I can start processing some used stuff and getting it into the store. Um, I, think, I think that's going to be the bulk of my day. 
All right, mostly cleaned up, and I got these broke apart. Uh, again, doing the 76190 Iron Man Iron Monger Mayhem. Uh, keeping three instruction booklets, and then, uh, yeah, three bags. Um, doesn't look like there's a whole lot of parts. I mean, there's 479 in each set, so that's gonna be, and there's 10 sets, so. Uh, close to 5,000 parts, and then I've got these blue burst packets or whatever you want to call them. So, so yeah, I'm just gonna get these parted out, and I think that set right there is gonna be the next one that I do, but I don't know if I'm gonna get to that today. Uh, may uh, get that ready for my helpers to come in and, and part out for me. Well, it is. 2.44 and I got a little sidetracked I still haven't parted these out instead I made a mess of my table so I had some stuff in the house they were in my wife's way so I decided that I was going to take some time and clear it all out for her so that included some modulars that I had and some bins and some miscellaneous sets that were in the house, some miscellaneous bins, the bright beginnings of my eBay store, minus those Iron Man art sets there. And then I got these. These are part of my personal collection, but I had them in the house because I was gonna build them and display them, but I just haven't gotten around to it. And I don't think I'm going to get around to it for a little while, so I'm just going to bring them out here and storm somewhere just so that they're out of my wife's way. So, so yeah, um, now I'm going to figure out what to do with all this stuff. Some of it's going to go on the other side, through the door there, which reminds me i got to clean this area up in here too. As much as I wanted to turn this into a wood shop, the more and more I think about it, the more and more I think that's not going to happen. So um, I think what I might end up doing is turning this into like a like a part out room or something. Uh, I don't have, haven't really decided. Haven't really thought about it yet. So, but it does need cleaned up. So that's the first thing that's going to happen is uh, I'm going to clean up this stuff, kind of get it organized. I got a bunch of wood and stuff back there that needs to go away. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna try to maximize the, the space back here. So uh, yeah, so that's gonna be the task for the rest of the day, I think. 10.33, uh, whatever the next day is. Um, yeah, I, I just looked at my last video and it's kind of laughable because I, other than getting a little bit of stuff cleaned up, uh, I didn't really get a whole lot done yesterday. I did start parting out this set. Uh, I'm on bag one of three. I did bag three first, just because I had some missing pieces that I'd pulled for an order. Uh, so I did that bag first, but this is bag one. Uh, halfway through those, there's the rest of bag one. And there's bag two. Uh, I did get, like I said, I got the, the area cleaned up here a little bit. Uh, I decided to take those Sterilite drawers. Uh, so these are the smaller, the medium-sized ones. And I put them right here for now. Um, and then the boxes for minifigures. And I go back here and I put the those large sets up top. I uh, definitely didn't get this cleaned out, obviously. So yeah, uh, I think my next my next move is to finish parting out this set, get it done and on the wall. I do have a couple of orders to pull. One pretty large one. Uh, I think it's the order has the most. Of a single piece sold. Uh, they bought 600 one by two tan bricks and so I'm gonna end up finding those and I'm not sure which 
Looks like they're right there. Is that them? Yep, right there. So 600 of those going to the, the, uh, the buyer and a few other miscellaneous pieces. So, uh, so I think I'm gonna get this parted out, get those orders pulled, run to the post office, and then um, maybe I might tackle that back room at that point. Uh, I do have these other sets that I wanna get parted out, and so I might do that too, I haven't decided. We'll see what lunchtime brings and the trip to the post office brings. Um, but yeah, there's there's definitely a lot of stuff out of here that needs to to get put other places. Um, I think I mentioned that I'm getting transferred through the military uh, 100 miles south of here. Um, I've got a little cabin there that I'm going to live in. And so some of this stuff, like that sit-up bench is going to go with me and the minifigure eBay store stuff is going to go with me. So I might get all that put together so that I can just take that up there when I get a chance. So yeah, I'm going to get to parting these out. All right, just completed that, uh, parting out that Ironmonger set. About to upload 4,700 parts, 144 unique lots. Yeah, so let's go ahead and upload those and go do a part count here real quick. All right, so we got 8,420 lots. And I'm trying to find my cursor here. There it is. 298,887. So what is that? Almost 1,113 parts from 300,000. Hopefully, uh, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna try to break that today break that 300k mark um i do have an order to pack up or a couple orders to pack up and get to the post office and once i do that then i'll come back and oh i'll find me a set that's got 1200 pieces or something in it maybe maybe do this set it's got 211 per and i got 10 sets there so maybe we'll do that one get it out of the way all right here are my orders uh this one is the one that had the 600 tan bricks in it, obviously. Uh, but they also got 56 of the 6x12 dark bluish gray plates. And then a couple of miscellaneous parts. Uh, second order was some transclear dishes. And a 1x2 plate. And then some minifigure parts. So those are all going to go out in the mail today. And I've got to finish packing this up. Uh, I've got to find a bag to put all those 6x12s in. So, uh, But yeah, those are going to go out today. I, I think this is the heaviest order that I've ever had. Uh, not the biggest or the uh, most monetarily, but, um, but as far as weight, I think it's the biggest so far. So uh, definitely... You know, 600 times one part uh, is the largest quantity of any one item that I've sold. So, so yeah, pretty excited about this order. I hope they enjoy it. Uh, looks like they're doing some sort of terrain or something. I don't even have a clue, but it'd be interesting to know what they, what they use all these parts for. All right, so it's Saturday, 1030, 16th April. Made a push last night uh, to finish this set. 60328 Beach Life Guard Station. Uh, put just over 2,000 parts into the store. And I'm happy to say 301,000. Super excited about that. Uh, definitely a milestone. Um, but yeah, now I'm kind of at a loss to what to do next. I mean, I know. You guys are aware of this huge part out pile that that I got to get to, and not to mention that shelf over there. But I'm kind of running low on on drawers. I got so big drawers, 
I do have half of this one available, but I'm waiting for some more 1x12s or whatever to put in there. Um, but I made it all the way to AX134 as far as, as far as the big drawers are concerned. And then small drawers made it all the way to AO69. So I've still got all those small drawers, those ones down there. I may label those ones today to get them ready. Um, but I've also got those small drawers there and then all the small drawers on this wall. So I'm catching up with, with the small drawers to the big drawers. Um, but with these larger quantity sets, I'm finding that I'm using more drawers than more large drawers than small drawers. Um, so need to figure something out. Um, once I get to this point, I mean, this couch is going to be gone in probably about a month, month and a half. Uh, so I can put more bins along the wall there. Um, but until then I got, I think I got to slow down on my uploading of new. So I think I'm not going to do any more parting out of the new. I'll have some helpers come in and do some sets. Um, not sure which ones to have them do. I'll probably have them do like the lower quantity sets, like the, the Spider-Man I've only got five of, and the city set I've only got five of. Um, maybe some of these smaller Avenger sets over here, just to kind of get, uh, get the pile down, but use up some of those smaller drawers instead of the bigger drawers for the high qu quantity parts. I think that set right there, the Eternal set, I think that's gonna use a lot of uh, of the large drawers. So I think my focus is gonna be more on the used stuff because I've got all of this space. So I think today is gonna be a label or a drawer labeling day. So I got the labels from Avery. Uh, they're sitting over here somewhere. Oh, I put them up there. Put them up there. So I think I'm gonna work on getting these labeled. Um, those are the barcodes and then I've got some, uh, some labeling to do as far as the the fronts. I think I'm going to take these barcodes off the fronts of these ones and put the bigger stickers and then um, probably from about this level down, about this level down, I'm going to put the stickers on the handles just so that it's easier to read. Alright, column one is empty. Got it over here on the table. Got all the barcodes on the back of the drawers. And now I'm printing labels for the front of the drawers. Watching a little Pops Block Shop as I'm doing it. Um, yeah, it's a little time consuming, um, but I like the convenience of the barcode. But I had issues with the barcode before on the front, uh, just where it was placed. It would get caught up when I had drawers stacked. So. These are a little bit more low profile and don't seem to snag on drawers when they're when they're stacked. So, uh, so yeah, a little a little more labor intensive and probably a little bit more of a waste of a time. But hey everybody, seven oh eight on Saturday, the twenty third of April. Just got an order and I'm packing it and thought I'd share it real quick. Uh, this order actually came from a fellow YouTuber, although his videos are probably a little more popular than mine. Actually, they definitely are a lot popular, more popular than mine. And he uh, uploads videos a lot more often than I do. But uh, not a bricklinker, or at least not an avid bricklinker uh, from what I understand. But uh, definitely a awesome builder. Uh, he has bought out bought me out of all these one by two by five bricks in light bluish gray, dark bluish gray, reddish brown, trans blue, 
Uh, you got some two by four, pink two by four. You got some of these corner pieces. More one by two by fives in white. More corner pieces in light bluish or dark bluish gray. Medium nougat. Some one by ones in dark bluish gray. And then down here at the bottom, there's some uh, pink two by twos bricks. And then just a couple other random pieces, some trans panels and some uh, one by one tiles. So hope he doesn't mind that I'm showing the order here, but uh, I was pretty excited to see his name come through. So um, packing up his order and it'll be in the mail on Monday. So uh, kind of excited to see what he's going to build with all these. All right, I got it all packed up. Well, in bags anyway. I uh, haven't figured out which mailer I'm going to put it in yet, but thought I'd take a uh, video of it before I sent it off. So these are all the one by two by five bricks. So light bluish gray, dark bluish gray, white, medium nougat. And then we got some reddish brown and the trans blue up there. And then all the other miscellaneous bricks that Daryl bought. So uh, yeah, definitely uh, an experience. It was kind of I kind of need to pack all those up. Uh, Daryl did buy me out of every item in each of these lots, except for the one by one tiles in white. Mm -hmm. 